Thank you. We know bad things happen in our culture. We know that these people had a bad experience. We validate that. We're sorry that that happened. They will not validate that we are having a good experience and that in our culture people have a good experience and keep wanting to, to say, hey, you believe in a faith that is faulted, you're weak women, you're a controlling man, you're all these things that people want to stereotype. It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday, April 5th. I'm sick. Oh, I woke up not feeling well, and it turns out I have what my son has, which is what I shared in my community tab, which is not really fun. But I also realized that even despite not feeling well, uh, there was a couple of stories that I needed to get out to you. So I'm working in my pajamas with a shirt on. So you don't even know that I'm wearing my PJs. Do any of you ever do that? Do you have a job where you work from home and you are on a Zoom call and you're like, I'm party in, I'm like business on the top and I'm like home and on the bottom, you know, like where you like, you're wearing something really nice on top and they have no idea that you're in your pajamas. Yeah. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> okay. So a couple of things. Yesterday we talked about a lot that was happening with the... Duggars. And then we also talked about the Hannah Goslin situation that's been happening with Kate and Hannah and, and how Kate is sort of impeding on Hannah, uh, Hannah's ability to have a relationship with her sister, with her siblings. And now we're going to talk about Cody Brown. So first off, I just want to say thank you to all of my followers that send me tips and they send me messages and they send me, you know, whether it's an email or a DM. And if I don't respond, I'm sorry, I don't see everyone, but I did see this one and I thought this one, this one's worth sharing. You guys have been begging to know, dying to know what Cody Brown does for work. When all of the pandemic hit, if you remember, Cody was over on his cameo and he was talking about how his business had basically slowed down because a lot of what he did was went to trade shows and then at the trade shows, he said that he dealt in precious metals. He has always been very sort of coy about what it is that he does for work. And when the show first started, they said that they sold signs, like neon signs, which I believe they did do. But he sort of didn't tell people about the fact that he sold other things that were related to metals. You know what I'm talking about. Well, in a podcast with, uh, I think, Surviving Sister Wives, Peyton Brown said that the reason why his dad doesn't talk about what he does for work is because uh, they brought it up in the first few seasons and it didn't go over well with the audiences. And so therefore it's not something that is widely reported or shared for storylines. But I think a lot of people have known or suspected for years that Cody actually deals in arms. That's right. So earlier, this weekend, somebody shared on Facebook, and first of all, I'd like to apologize because I don't know who the original OP is. I just had one of my followers send me a screenshot of what was sent to them. My These came from Shannon. Thank you, Shannon. Okay, I don't think Shannon actually saw Cody though. So these were from a post that was shared on Facebook, and I'm not sure where or who grabbed these, but it says, an unexpected Cody sighting. We live in Southwest Missouri, and my husband sent, spent this past weekend in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the annual gun show. It's a big deal, massive, and has over 4,000 tables over 11 acres. So the annual show is at the fairgrounds in Tulsa, and it was on the 2nd and 3rd of April. So it did coincide with the post that I just received. He sat down to rest with his friends at an empty table, and kept hearing a voice that he thought sounded familiar. He looked all around and realized it was Cody from Sister Wives. He, had, he said he was selling gun parts and coins mostly, he thought. He texted me the photos immediately and I knew, because he knew I would be interested. So the po photographs that they have of him at the show show that he had some coins that he was selling. 
He also was selling like build kits for specific types of arms, um, the AR kinds. And then he had some like strikes, which are also another part. He had some behind a locked box, so I couldn't see what those were. But it seems like he was selling build kits or parts to build arms. I didn't really know that that was actually a thing. One of the products that he was selling was called the Enforcer Kit, which is a complete kit build kit. And it retails according to a website I found for like $750. I didn't know that these were actually something that you could buy. Now, this actually is a humongous, huge, huge, huge event in Tulsa. So as she said, it's over 11,000 square feet uh, and it's at the fairgrounds. And they've been doing this for 65 years. Now, interesting to note, Cody was not wearing a mask inside at the fairgrounds. Listen, I don't really care at this point what people do. I'm not here to be the, the mask police. I'm not here to criticize anymore. You know, there's only so much more at this point we all can do uh, to get through this. And I can't control what other people do. But I know that you all will be interested because he made such a big stink on the show about the fact that he couldn't be around his si his sister wives. He couldn't be the kids couldn't interact. And then he's at this huge, huge event, huge event at Tulsa without a mask on. And I want to note, too, that there's not a mask man man mandate in that area. So there's that as well. So it's a pretty big event. It was um, they had 4,200 tables, it says, and that it was on Saturday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The admissions was $10 for adults and $3 for kids and no loaded weapons were allowed inside the event. So Cody is going around on these tours and selling these items. Does this shock you? Does it surprise you? Is it weird that TLC is leaving out these details about Cody? Is there a specific reason why they would leave this out? Does the fact that he's doing that not uh, coincide with like family values? I'm totally confused because if you're going to do a show on polygamy, which isn't legal in the United States and isn't actually like anything that most people do. And by living this way, you're actually committing crimes. I mean, you are. Whether or not you're going to be arrested is another thing. Like people rarely get arrested for polygamy, but it's a crime. So you would think that they would not shy away from showing the realities of every aspect of their lives. This kind of reminds me about how on the show for the Duggars, they just really over sidestepped a lot of the really ugly rules and the ugly beliefs that are a part of the IBLP, specifically around women, around marriage, around child rearing. I mean, did you ever on the show see them talk about using a rod? Never, right? You also never heard them talking about like, not being able to say no to your husband outright, you know? So it seems like TLC picks and chooses what they don't think is going to land with the audience. And I honestly don't know why this would upset audiences more than the polygamy. You know what I mean? I mean, it's an alternative lifestyle to say the least, right? But it's legal to actually own weapons. So and guns, like why would it be such a big deal to families or people watching the show that he sells these products. I mean, do you remember the season when they actually bought him like, I don't even know what kind for Christmas and they all like chipped in together and got him one and then he went to the range. I mean, it's clear if you go onto his Twitter that he promotes these types of events and he talks about going to these types of events and it's like they just ignore it. I don't really understand it. And, you know, Peyton did say that they didn't like, like the audience didn't react well to it. Now it's interesting because, listen, I'm not against ownership of any kind at all. So I'm, don't come for me. You're not hitting the, you are not, don't go after the messenger. Um, one thing that does come up a lot with the ARs is that they're used in a lot of these school events that happen around the country. And that's like, is that another reason why? I mean, it's your right as a US citizen to legally own 
whatever it is that you want, as long as you're properly following the laws. And if you're like different states have different requirements for licensing and concealing and carrying and all of that, but it's your second amendment, right? So, I mean, is it the controversy surrounding the kinds that he is involved in and the kinds that he is selling? Because like, if we had an idea that he had a job, would we still be calling him a deadbeat? You know, knowing that he's traveling around selling these products? Or does it somehow change the fact that people are going to think that he's violent because he owns these kinds of weapons or that he's like an extremist? I mean, the Duggars also have a lot of arms and they have photographs of them going hunting all the time. And yet TLC, you never saw that on the show either. I don't know why in today's day and age, these kinds of like items are so controversial or so taboo for the wider public because they're such a huge part of the American culture. And the Second Amendment is a huge part of just a lot of people really appreciate that, right? They really want to have the right to own whatever they want to own. And I'm not going to stand in your way, okay? Nobody's going to stop you. So what do you think is preventing TLC from actually disclosing this to the public? Does it shock you that Cody's selling build kits? Is he that he's selling stuff related to ARs? Does it even matter? I always thought he was selling like antique ones. So when he would talk about going and selling these products, I used to thought I would think about him selling like really, really old revolvers, like from the Western times, you know, like from the, like the, the Dust Bowl times, like the 1800s when, you know, they were settling in the West and they were doing like draws, you know, like the wild, wild West. Like that's what I imagine the kind of con like what he would be selling. I was not expecting him to sell these. I don't care for the record, what he sells. I just was kind of shocked that he was selling these ones. I was like, I always envisioned him selling like antique ones. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Maybe that's because that's what he's planted out there for people. I'm not sure. So on my Instagram, I shared with you this photograph. Oh, someone said in one of the sister wives groups, this lady named Barbara Kerr posted them and said her husband took them. Thank you, Barbara. Um, another person said, I met him once at a gun show down in Arizona. I was browsing around because my husband wanted to go. So I was just waltzing around and saw him and Googled him to make sure I was right. And when he was alone, I went up and I said, I'm a fan of the show. And he said he was the, he's, he was the kindest person ever and was appreciative. And then someone said, very disturbing. And another person said, no mask. So other people have seen him at these shows. And Barbara, thank you for sharing these photographs. Um, you did a great job. Okay, so Cody Brown works at selling kits. Thoughts, questions, concerns. Do you think it's so disturbing or very disturbing like Rhonda said? Or are you more just like, I think I already knew this. This is not tea, Katie. Or are you more like, that's something I, that's new information. Do you remember? Do you remember on Friends? Okay, I'm just going to show you how my old I am because who else loves Friends? Remember when uh, Rachel got pregnant with Ross's child and uh, everyone knew except for Ross and then Rachel was going to break the news to the dad and then Ross comes up to Phoebe and to uh, Joey and she's like, he's like, well, you guys, um, she's pregnant and then she's like, Phoebe's like, well, that's, that's new information. Is it like that? Is it like where you already knew, but you knew, but you didn't know, so you're going to pretend like you didn't know? Did that joke land? I'm sorry if it didn't. I'm sick. All right, you guys, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye, guys.